Good morning, St. Thomas More. Uh, I have a couple of brief announcements as we begin second semester. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate everyone for getting through semester one. For those of you that found success and the success that you were looking for, uh, I'm confident because it is because of the hard work and perseverance you showed throughout the semester. For those of you that are looking to have maybe a bit more success second semester, I can only continue to stress how important attending all classes is and how important it is to re review your work on a daily basis. Please take the time to use the supports that are in the classroom and beyond. Your classroom teacher, student services, ESL teachers, co-op, guidance, and administration. Um, remember, there are countless caring adults in this building nights. The second item I'd like to talk about very briefly is that several of you um, may have noticed new locks on your locker. Um, there's been some incidences around the board and in the other school board uh, with vandalism, weapons, things of that nature found in lockers. Um, the school expectation is that every locker has a lock on it at all times. So during the exam period, we've uh, decided to support all the students by replacing all the missing locks and putting them on. Um, so our expectation today and moving forward is that every locker will have a lock on it that's locked when it's not being used. Please help us keep our school safe by keeping a lock on your locker at all times. Um, lastly, as many of you are aware, uniforms are always a fun topic in Catholic schools. In our effort to solve this problem, and the challenges that you have, like, I'm just going out, I have class in the portable, it's cold, I forgot, and many other challenges that we tend to have. Effective immediately, students can now purchase a school hoodie that can be worn every day. Images and pricings are being shared at the moment, and there are sample sizes in the student council office, so you can try on before purchasing your item. Orders can be made through cash online, and there will be a center mail out to all your parents so that they are aware that this is an item moving forward. In our effort to support our staff, administration will improve our visits on classes and in the halls to address the non-uniform pieces that are in the building. Remember, spirit wear is Wednesdays, so all spirit wear should only be worn on Wednesdays. Again, I would like to wish everyone the best possible start to second semester. God bless you, and thank you very much. Good morning, STM. My name is Elagress. And my name is Felicia. And we and are members of STM's, STM's Black Student, Student Association. Association. It is the beginning of Black History Month, and the theme this year is Empowerment, Enlightenment, and Excellence. Today, we are here to educate and celebrate Black history and Black excellence. It is important for our school community to know and understand the history of Black Canadian individuals, our trials and tribulations, and our struggle for equality that unfortunately is still experienced today in our society. Throughout this month, at the beginning of each week, we will be sharing African Canadians who impacted black culture within Canada. These individuals can range from civil activism to sports, entertainment, and media. To learn more about our Black Student Association and our plan for Black History Month, follow us on Instagram at stm underscore bsa. Have a good day, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Kiara. And I'm Michele, and here are your announcements for today. Calling all computer programming enthusiasts. The Waterloo Computing Competition is set for Wednesday, February 21st. Secure your spot by signing up with Mr. Stratford and the Business and Computer Studies Department by Monday, February 12th. The entry fee is $11, a small price for a chance at coding glory. Don't miss out on showcasing your skills and representing our school. See you there. There will be a senior boys soccer tryout on Thursday, February 8th at 3 p.m. The tryout will be outdoors on our field, so please dress appropriately. Permission forms will be outside the Fazette office. Students will not be able to try out without a signed permission form. All indoor track athletes are to meet in student success at 2.45 before tonight's practice. Attention all diversity members. The Tuesday meeting has been scheduled for Thursday, February 8th at 2.50 p.m. in the library. Attention all students. There is now a fee for all printing in the library. Please see library staff for more information. The junior girls volleyball team will take on St. Mary's today in our home gym. Please be there by 3.30. Go Knights. Thanks, STM. Good morning, Knights. I'm Grace. And I'm Mia, and we're here from your student council. Attention, grade 11s and 12s. Get ready for a little taste of Paris coming to you on March 7th. Join us for a night to remember at Carmen's Banquet Center for this year's prom. 
Tickets are almost sold out and you do not want to miss this. Also, if you plan on purchasing a guest ticket, those forms are due this Wednesday. Speaking of Wednesday, Grace, did you hear? Candy Graham sales begin on Wednesday as well. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Tell me more, Mia. They're $2, cash only, and available for purchase outside of the Student Council office. I better see everybody buying one for a special someone. Next, we have an important message about the United Way. The United Way is a vital organization that directly helps people in need, right here in the STM community. United Way helps people to help themselves and to be a better and stronger community. With Asher, he's, he's only three years old, but we didn't think that it was too early for him to start uh, realizing the impact of giving back to the community. A lot of people don't understand what United Way is all about and part of what I like to do is, is be able to sway them to understand more about what it's all about. He gets the opportunity to experience camp like every other child. Without the assistance of United Way, I don't think we'd be able to do what we do with Evan. If the United Way wasn't there, the game change probably wouldn't happen. That was the, the help that I needed. We'd just be a mess without the United Way. Thanks to the kindness of the United Way and volunteers, I'm, I'm able to have a decent life. Together we are possible. To show our support of the United Way, students and staff are encouraged to wear a red or white t-shirt this Thursday, February 8th. Students and staff are also encouraged to donate to the United Way fundraiser using school cash online. A minimum $2 donation will earn you a ballot into our United Way raffle. A $10 donation will earn you five raffle ballots and so forth. Many great prizes and gift cards will be raffled off to students and staff who donate, who donate to school cash online with a $100 Visa gift card as a grand prize. STM, show that amazing school spirit through your generous online donations. Thanks, STM. Have a great day. STM, this older announcement. The time now is 8.23. And remember, it's a great day to...